Okay, I'm going to show you how easily you can integrate Bing Maps with a SharePoint list. Um, here I have my SharePoint list of offices. I've got the title for my office, the address, city, state, and zip. It's just a simple SharePoint list, nothing magical about it. Um, I then went to the Bing Maps SDK and it has a REST service example for find location by query. So if we go to this SDK example and we click down here on the view HTML button, this is the script that the API uses as an example for how you would query uh, the map by location. And you see that this script has a function called find location. And this find location function has a query string. And it defaults to Seattle, Washington for their example. So we should be able to take this example, um, try to get our address for our SharePoint list into this query string and then basically use this, this script as is and that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to add, I modified the script to uh, get this address from our SharePoint list. I, I stripped out all this HTML that I don't need and then I made this script execute the find location function when the page loads and that's basically the script you see in my blog post. Alright, so the Bing Maps script, our offices list. Now in my SharePoint site, I also have um, a couple of, of scripts. I've got my jQuery script, obviously, and then I've got the script I wrote for the Bing Map demo. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook all these pieces together and make them work. So the first thing I want to do is create a page. So we'll create a page. We'll do a web part page, and we'll call it Bing map demo. We'll put it in our site pages library and create it. So now let's add the offices web part to this page. So there you see, there's our list of offices, just a standard SharePoint list. So now I want to stop editing this page and I want to open this page in SharePoint Designer. So let's bring up SharePoint Designer. Go to our pages. Here it is, Bing Map Demo. We just created it. Edit the file. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop the edit form web part for offices on this page. So when this finishes loading. All right, so here's our page. I'm going to insert an edit item form for offices and this will drop that form on the page for me. And again, we're doing this because we know with jQuery how to read SharePoint form fields. So I want to get a form on the page that's going to actually hold the fields we want. Uh, now I want to add or remove the columns that I don't need. I don't need all these columns here. All I care about is the address, city, state, and zip. Click OK. Now we'll save this page. So now when we go back into SharePoint and load our page, we see now we've got the edit form and it's defaulting to the first item in the screen. So what we need to do that now is uh, set it up so that when someone selects one of these offices, it will populate that the selected office into this edit form. And we do that by uh, doing a web part connection. So we're going to edit this web part we're going to do a connection, send row data to offices one, that's our edit form. We're going to get filter values from, and the provider and consumer fields are both the ID field because it's the same list, so it makes it easy to match those up. Click finish. So we're done with the, uh, we're done with that connection now. Now we see we get the select column with this diagonal arrows that go back and forth. I don't know why that means collect me and select, click me and select, but it does. So you see if we click the one next to Mandalay Bay, where SPC is in Vegas this year, you can see it filled in that information in our edit form. So we click on Summit 7 Systems, you see there's the address for Summit 7 Systems in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, the same for the Hillbilly headquarters, where I live in Harrison, Arkansas. Very simple stuff. Now what we need to do is get our script in here for the Bing Map demo and have it read these form fields. So again, if we look at the script I have, 
you can look at that find location function. Here it is. And you can see I already have my query set up to use jQuery to say find the input field with that's the address and build this big long string of address city state zip and then feed that to the Bing Map API. So let's go back to our page. We'll edit our page, add a web part. We're going to add a content editor web part. And we are going to edit it. And we are going to link to our script, which is in site assets slash bing map demo.js. Let's test our link to make sure it's there. Yep, it's there. Now we'll apply it. We'll stop editing. And let my slow network catch up. So you see Summit 7 Systems is the currently selected office. And here it pops up in the map. There's Voyager Way. If we scroll out, you can see we are indeed in Huntsville, Alabama. If we click on Microsoft's headquarters, reloads the page again, and you can see we are in Redmond. Same thing for the Mandalay Bay in Vegas, where everybody's going to be in November. And here we are in Vegas. So see, just with those couple of few steps, we now have our addresses from SharePoint showing up in a Bing map. I mean, nothing, you know, too crazy or complicated. The last thing we want to do is we want to hide this web part because it, it doesn't need to be visible on the page. So let's go ahead and edit the web part. And we will change its layout to hidden because a hidden web part is still being executed, right? So apply that. Stop editing. And you see that our edit form is gone. It's no longer on the page, but the functionality still works. Microsoft, Harrison, Arkansas, the middle of nowhere. And yes, there really is a goblin drive in Harrison, Arkansas. That's also the high school mascot of Harrison, Arkansas is the goblins. I know you're jealous. Anyway, there you go. Nice, simple, and sweet. Nothing too complicated. Um, the script is available on my blog if you want to get it and play through yourself. Just make sure you get your own uh, Bing Maps key or the functionality won't work for you. Thanks a lot.